Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 29th of 2024 is titled Milky Way over Uluru. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the rock structure known as Uluru. And this is about 350 meters high. So that's very tall. You get an idea. I can't really get a sense of that from the image specifically because we don't get a sense of how tall that actually is. But that would be more than three football fields high. Now this is an area of Australia and this forms because the harder rock which is what is left remains and over millions of years the softer rock gets eroded away. So softer rocks get torn apart ripped apart and they're eventually just gone. We see this with structures in other parts of the world as well where those a harder rocks remain as the other areas are eaten away by different types of erosion. Now, in the sky up above this, we see our Milky Way galaxy. And we can actually see we've labeled a few things there. We see the dark dust clouds and the bright star clouds that make up our Milky Way galaxy. So that dust is blocking out light from behind it. And that central region would be even brighter were it not for all of that dust. It would be one of the brighter areas in the sky. Now, the other things that we see there are a number of nebulae. Now, the reddish areas are hydrogen gas, which is glowing. And these are what we call emission nebulae. And we can see two of them labeled there, prominent ones that are often photographed, which are the Lagoon Nebula and the Eagle Nebula. But all of the other red color you see in that region is also part of this. And they are regions where hot stars have formed, and those hot stars then excite the hydrogen gas around it and cause it to glow. And that gives that distinct red color that we associate with an emission nebula. We also note two of the constellations uh, marked there, and that is Sagittarius down below and Scorpius up above. Uh, Sagittarius the archer, and what we see there outlined, is what's called the teapot of Sagittarius for its resemblance uh, to a teapot in the sky. Now above the spout of the teapot, which would be close to the center of the image, would be the center of our Milky Way galaxy. So that's one way to find roughly where the center of the galaxy is, is by identifying that portion of Sagittarius and going a little bit off the edge of that spout of the teapot. And that allows to us to see the center of the galaxy. Now, if we looked at it in radio waves, the center of our galaxy is the brightest radio source in the sky. We don't see it with visible light simply because there's too much dust there. And the light that would be coming from our the center of our Milky Way is blocked out by that, all of that dust. However, we do know from measurements that we see a supermassive black hole more than 4 million times the mass of our sun located in that region. Now up above we see another one of the constellations that goes through uh, the Milky Way and that is the constellation of Scorpius the scorpion and we can see the bright red star there Antares which is at the heart of the scorpion. So here we get to see a few different things in the sky, including some of those nebulae and a couple of constellations in this portion, as well as the rock formation in Australia down below. So that was our picture of the day for July 29th of 2024. It was titled Milky Way over Uluru. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Big Penguin. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.